we have a full length trailer for Skyman, and what got me so interested to do this, to do this trailer reaction, was that this is actually directed by Daniel Myrick. He's the director of The Blair Witch, and the, I think he's a writer and producer on Book of Shadows, an exclusive producer on the remake of Blair Witch, which, which happened in 2016. And he's now returning to directing in 2019, and this guy's not like directed a film since like the 80s now, so that's actually, yeah, like, that's big. And Blair Witch, like, that was a big phenomenon when it, when it first came out, like, it was all, uh, what, like, I was not born back in the 80s, but from what I've, like, seen from, like, the sites and from videos and all that, is that they had this, like, these, like, missing posters to convince people that these people have actually gone missing, and this is the footage that they have found and what has happened to these people. And Blair Witch, I think it still holds up today with what it tries to do, it, like, it's Blair Witch now, it's a slow burn movie, for sure, it's a slow ass movie, because there's nothing really exciting happening, it's basically just a lot of shots of trees and all that, but I think what's so creepy about Blair Witch is, uh, is the atmosphere, it's just the whole style of it, and how that was something new for people, is they've never seen something like that shocking before, like, that, that so like, whoa, what's in my face and that, they've never seen something like that so in your face. But yeah, now we've kind of seen more brutal, more scary movies than that. But I think for the time that movie came out, that movie was actually pretty state of the art, my lad. And but yeah, like they they put missing posters around, and they even paid the actors to like disappear for like a few months to actually convince the world that these people have actually gone missing. And yeah, it was like it's it's a big it was a big phenomenon in the eighties. It was a big movie when it first came out, and yeah. It's, and now he's finally, he's returning to directing, and like, so this guy's not directed since the 80s, and he's now returning to directing, and he's actually directing an alien invasion movie. So, from what I've read, the story to this is, this guy's about, from the, from what I've read, he's like a 40-year-old, and like, when he was a 10-year-old, he got abducted by an alien, or he encountered an alien, like, when he was 10 years old, and now I think the aliens are back for him, or something, or he's just trying to discover more about that, I don't know the exact plot, but I think it's, it's something along those lines from what I've heard, and, but yeah, I think with this, well, that's what so intrigued me about this, was Daniel Myrick, I mean, I just cannot believe that guy is, he's a pretty steady art director, like, he made such a big phenomenon, like, he's not the only director on Blair Witch, because I think there were, like, uh, two other directors along with Daniel Myrick, but that's what got me so intrigued, is, Blair Witch, which that's probably one of my favourite film footage movies, along with Paranormal Activity and Chronicle. Blair Witch is definitely on, on them, like that movie, every time I watch it, like, do not watch that movie late at night, with the lights of that, it's probably scary, but I think, to get the full experience for Blair Witch, I watch it with like, uh, with like, uh, surround speakers, and sit right next to a speaker while watching, because they use sound effects, the atmosphere, it really creeps up on you, which I think, and still now, like I said, it, uh, it's pretty still, it's pretty still state-of-the-art movie, and still, I think, a really fun movie, it's not, like, fun in that way, but it's a very slow movie, it's fun in a very slow way, because it really builds atmosphere, builds characters, and yeah, it's, but yeah, that's, it's, I can't believe actually Daniel my week is actually returning to directing, but I think the big question that I have for this trailer is, does Daniel Myrick still have the directing in him, like I said, this guy's not directed since the 80s, and see, that's like probably like about 20 years ago or something, and, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, does he still have the directing in him, is he still as good as he was, as he was back in the 80s, when he directed Blair Witch, does he still have that creepiness to him, you know, you know what I mean, kind of like the style that he did, with uh, Blair Witch, and yes, I know, like, and yes, I know, like, Skyman is an alien movie, but does he still have what made the Blair Witch so good? I get that's a found footage movie. I'm not trying to, I'm not comparing the two movies, I'm just, like, say, I'm just trying to compare the director to Blair Witch to Skyman, okay? Uh, but yeah, I, n I never heard of this uh, trailer until I read an article saying Skyman, uh, Daniel Myrick is returning to direct after Blair Witch, in a word, Blair Witch, that's what kind of grabbed me to this trial, I was like, hmm, Daniel Myrick, eh? So, yeah, um, but yeah, I'm gonna watch this trial, but before we do, I actually have a couple of shout-outs to give to some people, 
um because i put up a post on on instagram uh saying who wants a shout out in my next youtube video and uh, it's a think of a couple of shout outs uh so the first shout out goes to zach sommer daniel perry 5265 isaac films i recently saw his new video of king kong i can't wait for your uh jurassic park free review man i mean you have a great channel you have some really great content some really great movie reviews on your channel man yeah good job with that we have luke Tini, paul b he actually did the visual effects for the stalkers so that's cool uh deep fried barbar fee 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 willow 05 uh pagey jr and gracie 0504 so yeah there are your shout outs guys but anyways let's get down to the real business here which is the skyman trailer daniel myrick returned to directing could be good well, let's click play and watch this thing. My name is Carl Merriweather, and uh, this is my sister Gina Campbell. Um, her name is her last name is Campbell because she was married, but then she got divorced, and her husband's name was Carl too. Carl, that's that's the not the not the same person. Sorry. So, Carl, can you tell us how you became interested in UFOs? Uh, well. Just, I mean, to state it as clearly as I can, um, I was visited by one when I was a kid. The skies above Apple Valley were filled with more than just clouds last night. News 6 lines were lighting up with reports of an alleged triangle-shaped UFO. In the Some local residents claim to have seen an unidentified flying object just after sunset last evening, with one young man even claiming to have been visited by what he describes as a sky man. He was, he was tall and skinny. He didn't look human. I, I knew he wasn't a human. He said that he was looking for someone like me. He has been so razor sharp focused, more than I've ever seen him. I guess I just figured he was finally like ready to tell his story. Here's the HGH. I'm telling you, it was really, really loud. I was standing right here and it was like, are you too sure it was not you? It couldn't have been. We were way over the hill by the beacon. What is it? It's our magnet, or what's left of it. It was propelled somehow. Okay, so what? You really think that aliens did that? I don't know what to think, Gina. All I know is something's going on, and I don't think it's human related. Arthur C. Clarke once said, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And I've always liked magic. Uh, so yeah, Skyman. Um, that trailer it wasn't what I expected, but. I mean, like, that's fine. I didn't really go into it. I can't just be really expect to just kind of like a basic sci-fi movie or kind of like alien type style. Like, maybe, maybe like the aliens kidnapped him again and he has memories of maybe what happened to him when he was 10 years old when this happened to him for the first time and now it's like a reunion and he's meeting them again. So, I was kind of like, it's kind of expecting that's a very like basic sci-fi movie here. But, it's kind of, it's like a documentary of the guy. He's now like 40 years old or something and then he's written telling the event so it's really telling the story of what happened that night when the aliens abducted him and now he's having a reunion by the, uh, with them by telling 
the world his story. Yeah, I find that kind of cool. And just by that trailer, you already you already have a little bit of details about the characters. You know what's happened to that guy. You know that he uh, experienced these events when he was ten years old. Um, you learn that the uh, girl, I think it's uh, it's his wife that uh, that she got a divorce. There's always some character development in this. Usually trailers don't do that. They just kind of give you the tone. This was a three minute length trailer, and I mean, I'm. I think Daniel Maddrick, on my week, I think he's, I think he's on something here. I mean, it's very different to see him actually doing a fi but it's his directing type style here. Um, so yeah, it's like a documentary type style. It's not like the basic sci-fi movie like I thought. Uh, this is kind of very different. Like this is my expectations kind of shattered here. I mean, I didn't expect this. To expect like a, like a documentary type style movie of him just retelling. The events, but I mean, I've seen those type of movies before where it's all like documentary type style. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like there is some sci fi in there as well. But and yeah, you get to see, I guess, in this trailer, you get to see our little first draw, drawn look at the aliens. So we get kind of get an idea of what the aliens look like. And yeah, I mean, I'm curious to know, I mean, I would like to see a second trailer if Daniel Myrick actually, um, if there is going to be a second trailer, I would like to see one because I feel like this one it just kind of gives you the story, some of the characters that come, some of the character details that you that you need to know. Uh, I would like to kind of see a, like a little glimpse maybe at the aliens that, would, that could be cool. But yeah, this is it's it's, it's a it's a documentary type style. It's like a documentary filmed movie of the guy who's now forty years old and he's retelling his story at the uh, events that happened. Uh, what he, like what he heard, the sounds he heard. Um, and all that, which I, I think that's cool. I feel like the documentary type stuff. So I feel like that. I feel like that could be cool. Um, I found footage from movie I also could have gone for. I'm not saying I hate this trailer. This trailer is actually, it's actually um, very different than I thought. Because uh, like I said, I kind of went into with very, but expecting it's a very basic stuff like movie. But I guess that just isn't Daniel Myrick's uh, direction, it's isn't what he wants to do with his movies, he likes to really change them up and all that, so, I mean, he's a very creative-ish director. So, yeah, I feel like, uh, so from what I have saw in this, I feel like Daniel Myrick's direction is good from, like, the little scenes I saw, I feel like his direction is good, there's some really great cinematography in the trailer. But all this trailer basically tells you is, like I said, uh, just the story, the tone, and some character details, our little first glimpse look at the aliens like a drawn look because on the uh, paper on the paper you got to see uh from his perspective of what he saw of the alien we got to see it's like face and you know the body and, and all that um but yeah uh Daniel Marek his his back directing films which um he what is he what has Daniel Marek been up to all these years as well it's like it's like since the eighties like he disappeared kind of after like the uh, after Blair Witch, and he's been, he's, he's produced a couple of films, but where has he been with directing? Um, but yeah, this is, yeah, there's really not much else to say. I would like, like I said, I would like to see a second trailer, maybe see our first glimpse at the aliens, maybe let us see maybe his encounter. I hope there's like a flashback, uh, I, hope there's, I hope there's like a flashback of when he was a kid, and you get like a shot of his perspective of him seeing the aliens. But I think from the story that he's telling, it sounds like actually, actually extremely interesting. Like what he saw, what, what like what like the sounds he heard, like what, like what the voices of the aliens sound like. They're kind of things like I'm interested in. I like to, I'd like to make the alien a, a character here. Um, it seems like, well, I, I can't really judge that because like I said, we haven't seen the movie yet. I'm not sure when this is coming out. If I do, I'll put the release date just there. Um, but yeah, I think Daniel Marwick, I think he looks like he has some good on his hands. He's a very different director. Like he, he's not like a, he's not like a, like Ridley Scott or any of them. He has, he has, he only does movies that he feels like would be good and he, he wants to do. And like he said, he does these films in a very different style to any other director. Like. He actually makes some like documentary top style film footage. I feel like they're his kind of two genres. He doesn't like doing like I think like handheld kind of movies. I don't like well these big block blah blockbusters like Transformers or like or, like Alien or any of those big you know blockbuster movies. 
uh, I feel like he, he likes to just do his style of film. I mean, I'm fine with that. He, I feel like he's a very creative, very different director. And, you know, like each director has a vision on what they want to do. And I feel like Daniel Myrick, I feel like he has something good going here. So I'm, like, I'm down to watch Spider-Man. I'm always down to, to watch like a, to watch like an alien type movie, to watch an alien documentary. It looks like there are going to be some film footage scenes because uh, there are like scenes where I think the character is actually holding the camera. Like there was one scene when he saw the uh, magnet attached to the metal and it was like, it was kind of like a first person perspective of that. So it looks like there'll be kind of, there, it looks like there'll be some film footage scenes. It looks like there'll be some, like like as in like actual cinematography, like the begin, like the opening shot. It's just, it's kind of like a down shot of the desert and the guy walking towards. So like, it looks like it's kind of like a mix of those kind of three things. I might be wrong there, but from what the trailer, uh, from what I saw in the trailer, it, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, I hope yeah, I hope we at least get like a TV spot, maybe maybe a like a second trailer. It doesn't seem how many views does the actually trailer actually have on YouTube right now? Two thousand uh, two thousand two hundred and ninety one views. Well, that's not that's not me. Like prepared to like other trailers. I don't think this is not like a real worldwide release. I think Skyman is actually going to be like a straight to like VOD, straight to DVD uh, type movie because it looks like it. But I don't know. I, I don't think it is coming to theaters. I just does it say if it is? Uh, when's the release date for this? Uh, yeah, I don't know when. Yeah, I don't know when the release date is exactly. Uh, it says the status right now, it's filming, and this show dro dropped uh, one day ago. I only just saw it, I only went onto like my, my usual horror movie uh, site, where I see all the horror movie news and just comic book news and all that. And it said that a, a uh, an alien abduction movie trailer dropped called Skyman, and it was directed by the director behind the Blair Witch, Daniel Myrick, and like I said, that's what got me intrigued to actually watch his trailer to actually see Daniel Myrick actually back directing films again. I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that, that's cool. Um, but yeah, Daniel Myrick doing an alien movie could be good. I cannot wait. But like I said, I'd like to maybe see a second trailer, maybe, um, I guess I am kind of fine with my first trailer because you kind of, uh, you kind of learn what you need about the characters. Um, looks like this is going to be like a character driven kind of movie because you learn stuff from his point of view and you learn stuff what he heard that night, what he saw that night, what the aliens kind of, kind of look like. But yeah, who knows, we might not even see the aliens. Um, but this is a very kind of different sci fi movie, like I said, he's a very different director. He does like I said, his own style of film. So, anyways. Skyman, but it is, like I said, this is not like a worldwide kind of movie. Like I said, 2,291 uh, 2, views. It doesn't, that's like, that's, that's probably like the, the most or less views like I've seen on a trailer. Like usually big trailers like, like John Wick Chapter 3, uh, Avengers Endgame have way more views than that. But I guess this is not like a, like a big like, but I guess this is this like a big social media movie that's like when the trailer first drops. Everybody's talking about like Skyman and everybody's talking about Daniel Myrick Return. It's not like it's not that kind of film, I guess. But I mean, like I said, I'm fine. Daniel Myrick, in my mind, I think he's a great director. I, I loved his directing. I love the type of I love the tone, I love the setting, I love the atmosphere that he did with Blair Witch. A uh, Book of Shadows I actually have not seen because I actually heard that it has nothing to do with the first Blair Witch. But since this is coming out, I actually may as well watch the Book of Shadows once I actually I'll probably actually do that. Uh, the the Blair Witch reboot I actually liked because I actually watched the uh, the reboot first and then the eighties movie. But yeah, uh, Daniel Myrick is actually the producer, the excuse, the uh, the executive producer on uh, on the Blair Witch reboot. So yeah, but yeah, Skyman. Uh, Daniel Myrick is back doing an alien, uh, doing an alien invasion abduction movie. I'm down with that. Daniel Myrick. I cannot say wrong with that. He's back. He's back directing after after about twenty years of not directing. I'm keen with him. 
So, yeah, anyway, so that's just Hot Pistol has that directing style in him. So, anyways, guys, if you have seen the Skyman trailer, uh, you let me know you down, let me know if it's down in the comment section down below. And if you have not seen the Skyman trailer, I suggest look up Skyman trailer. I, mean, I, I would like to support this guy on, on as much on this project. I would like to get as many people watching this because, like I said, the guy's a great director. I would like to see this movie succeed. Like, as in money-wise, I'd like to see it uh, at least succeed. Because, like I said, the trailer doesn't have many views. So, yeah, go support the trailer. Maybe leave, like, a comment on that trailer saying, maybe, say, like, Dove sent you or something like that. That would be freaking awesome if you actually did. But, anyways, you guys, yeah, like I said, I'd love to support this guy in this film. And I'll be definitely watching it. I'll be more likely reviewing it when it comes out. Uh, it's currently filming right now. Uh, but, yeah, I'll keep you guys dated on social media. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. And all the, and all those good social media platforms for any updates on this movie because like I said I would like to I'm not sponsoring this movie this is non sponsor I just want to shout this out because I just want to shout this guy out because I feel like he's a, such a talented and very different director is I want to see his uh, Skyman movie succeed because it looks like he's putting a lot of effort into it like so this is like 20 years he has not directed for and he's finally back to actually see I would. Like to support this guy on this uh, on this film. Like I said, I'm not sponsoring. Just kind of want to support him. So, anyways, guys. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. Leave a voice down in the comment section down below. Uh, what did you all think of the Skyman trailer? If you have not, look up Skyman on YouTube right now and watch that damn trailer. Put put a like on the uh, put a like on that trailer and maybe leave a comment. Um, just saying, like, awesome, awesome trailer, Daniel or whatever. Because yeah, like I said, I want to support him. Okay. So anyways guys, I hope I hope you have a good rest of your night and I'll see you in the next video.